What's up guys, it's Maddie here in the AFI DIY lab. Today I wanted to show you how to make some super fun bubble dough. This soft moldable dough is perfect for getting your customers kids excited about bath time. I know for you parents out there, bath time can probably be a pain, so why not make it a little bit more fun for your kids and a little bit easier on you. So without further ado, let's get started. So I started off by microwaving my deionized water to get it to about boiling. As you can see here, there's a little steam happening. So to it, I'm gonna be adding in our sea salt, which is going to help thicken up the dough as we continue adding in ingredients. So I'm gonna pour this in. And then I'm gonna take my glass stirring rod here and just stir until it's completely dissolved. Alrighty, for our next ingredient, I have our liquid Castile soap. This is what helps the dough really make those nice big bubbles. And so make sure to like this video and subscribe because we might just teach you how to make your very own liquid Castile soap in the future. Wink, wink. All right, so I'm gonna just give this a light stir because this does get super bubbly. All right, that looks pretty good to me. And I'm gonna set this off to the side and keep going with our next ingredient. So next up, I'm gonna be grabbing our jojoba oil, glycerin, and preservative. So to start out, I have our jojoba oil here, and I'm just gonna pour this in and stir. Very nice. All right, now I'm gonna grab our glycerin and add in. I'm gonna use my glass stirring rod just to help scrape out any last little bits. This is a thicker liquid, so I find that it kind of sticks to the container, so. Just make sure we get as much as we can in here. Give this another quick stir. For our next and final ingredient is preservative. So because this product will be used in a wet environment such as the bath, a preservative is an absolute must if you intend to sell it wholesale or retail. So preservative helps combat against any mold or growing bacteria in your products. So like I said, it's a must, especially if you're using it in a wet environment. All right, I'm gonna set this off to the side and then we get to add in my favorite part, which is fragrance oil. Before adding in your fragrance oil, of course, just make sure that this is nice and well mixed together and homogenized. So I went to the AFI library and I found a super fun fragrance for this special dough and I chose to use Fizzy Pop by AFI. I'm just gonna pour one of these in. Oop, made a little bit of a mess, but it's okay. At least it smells good. I'm gonna stir this in really fast. And of course this next step is optional, but I decided why not? So you can add color in if you want to. Choose whatever color your heart desires, but I chose to use bright yellow today. It's summer, so why not use yellow? Three, four, five. Awesome. Alrighty, and then we're just gonna give this another quick stir. Oh, it's beautiful. Alrighty, now that all of our liquid ingredients are mixed together and homogenized, we're gonna set this to the side and we're gonna get started on our dry ingredients. And in this bowl, I'm gonna be whisking together our arrowroot starch and then our white kale and clay. So here I have my arrowroot starch, just pouring this in like so. Oops. And now I'm grabbing our white kale and clay. All right. Alrighty, now that this is nice and mixed together, I'm gonna to take our wet ingredients here and I'm gonna pour about half of it in here and mix it around. Alrighty, now that I have half of our liquid ingredients incorporated with our dry, I'm gonna set this off to the side, grab a pair of gloves, and we're gonna pour the rest of this in here, get to the fun part of kneading it and really bringing it all together. All right, gonna set this off to the side, then in pours the rest of this. And now to the fun part. Just make sure you're kneading. As you go, if you find that your mixture is still a little bit too crumbly, you can add a couple of drops of water in at a time. Just remember to do it really slow, a little bit at a time, because once you add too much, it's kind of hard to backtrack. But if it's too wet and sticky, add a little bit of more of the kale and clay until the desired texture is reached. Alrighty, so when your mixture looks just about like this big ball, it's pretty fun. It feels like some molding clay. You're ready for the next step, which is packaging. So I'm gonna set this down and grab our packaging container. I'm gonna take my gloves off just because 
I'm done with the kneading process. So for packaging, I went with a simple clear jar that will easily display the product and keep it fresh. So simply just grab a little bit, squish it with your hands, and then you're done. All right, I think we're good. I'm just gonna pop the lid back on. And just like that, you are already done. Now you have yourself some fun fragrant bubble dough. This product is great for all ages. I'm a little older and I had a really fun time making it and I can't wait to use it when I go home. So a four ounce jar of this was only about a dollar to make, meaning it could be sold wholesale for about two to four dollars and retail for six to eight dollars. Head on over to our channel to find out more DIY projects to pair with this one and check out all the other informational content we have for you guys. As always, your support means the world to us and I thank you so much for tuning in to today's DIY lab. I can't wait to see you guys in the next one really, really soon with another fun project to make. Bye.